All right, gang, thanks for joining me again. This is Troy, we're cooking in the kitchen. Today I'm gonna do another Danish dish. A while back I did a dish called Burning Love. It was a Danish dish. Today I'm gonna do one, I think you pronounce it frikadella, and it's basically a, a meatball, Danish meatball. And I'm also gonna do some sides with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna braise some, uh, some, some red cabbage, and also gonna make some, uh, some sugary brown, basically a caramel potato to go with it. So I hope it turns out great. I'm looking forward to it, and let me show you what we got. All right, we're gonna need some meat for the meatballs. So I've got some ground sirloin, and I got some ground pork. Uh, let me see, also got uh, for the potatoes. I found these baby Dutch yellow potatoes. We're gonna boil those up, get them soft, and then peel them. Gonna need some milk. Gonna need some, uh, some sugar and some flour. I got some oats. Need an onion, salt, pepper. A little red wine, some red wine vinegar, got the red cabbage, may use some allspice, we'll see. Got a couple of eggs, and uh, I think that's about all I need. If I need anything else, I'll show you during the video. All right, guys, we're back. Let's prepare our meat for our meatballs, the meatball mixture. That's a pound of pork and a pound of ground beef. To that, we need two cups, so it's two pounds of meat, basically two cups of flour. It's my first time making this y'all. I didn't test it out before so hopefully it'll turn out all right. All right so we got two cups of flour. Now we're going to need, let's see what the recipe calls for here, a cup of oatmeal. So one cup and I'm just using these uh, the steel rolled, rolled oats here. One cup. About like that. If you don't have the oats you can use uh, breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs, something along those lines. All right, now we need some milk. Yeah, let's do the milk. I need, oh, let's see milk, milk, where's milk? Uh, about a cup and a half. Uh, about a cup and a half of milk. And that onion, I took and grated the onion. So I've got the little bits of onion and the juice from the onion in here. That's one whole onion grated with the juice. Throw a hint of allspice, just regular ground allspice. This is pretty strong stuff, so I'm not going to use a whole lot. Need some cracked black pepper. And some salt. Season it up to your own liking on that. And I think that's it. Let me double check. All right, I did forget. I need two eggs. I've got two egg yolks in here, along with the, uh, two whole eggs, basically. I'm just going to mix this briefly. Dump that in the mixture like so. And what you want to do is mix this up really, really good. I mean, really combine all of this together. And it's, it should be a, a really liquidy kind of a mix. You don't want it real thick. But make sure you do mix it all really, really well. Mix that meat in really well. And then we're going to put it in the fridge and let it chill for about a half hour. And then we'll fry it up. So we'll be right back. All right, let me show you real quick before I put this in the fridge. This is what you want, just a really wet mixture like this. Really, really wet. All right, we're gonna cover it, chill it for 30 minutes in the fridge. Be right back. All right, guys, let us check out the cabbage. Took my cabbage and I just kind of sliced it up. You know, little slices there. Got some butter that I've got melted in this pan. We're just gonna kind of saute these down just a little bit. This should be quick and easy. All right, so this has been going for just a minute or so. Now let's add some other stuff. Got some salt. We're going to salt it down a little bit. Some black pepper. A little water. Red wine vinegar. Should be enough. 
Karen's favorite red wine. It's smooth. It's good stuff, y'all. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Gonna add some of that. A little more. Gonna put in some sugar. Maybe a little more sugar. I'm not measuring any of this, y'all. What I'm gonna do is once it comes to a uh, uh, once it gets wilted down, I'm going to stir it all together real good and then I'm going to taste it. And if it needs anything else, I'll just add it at the end there. Alright, I think this dish is just about ready. I'll tell you what, this this cabbage looks excellent, y'all. And I've been tasting it in between shots here too. Man, it's some good eating right here, I tell you. Uh, you can sweeten it up a little more if you like it that way or you can put a little bit more of that red, red wine vinegar in there. If you like it a little bit more vinegary. Uh, a little sour tasting but anyway this is really good can y'all see the different colors uh, hopefully you can the different colors of red and purple that are in here this is some fine looking stuff right here give it one more last taste man I'll tell you this this is this is good by itself y'all mmm still got a nice crunch to it god that's good mmm all right let me get this off the burner. You can see the liquid's all gone now. That's what you're looking for. All right, let me go get the uh, ground meat out of the fridge. Be right back. All right, I got my meat mixture out of the fridge. You can see in there the oatmeal has absorbed some of that. So hopefully it's still, still good enough. And I'll just put some uh, margarine in here. You can use butter. Basically, if I can do this on camera here, let me see what you want to do. Is get your hand and kind of like just make like a little, uh, little ball like that. You know, elongated ball. And you just want to pop it in there. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. But again, just, just work these here like this. And I've got a, uh, a little cup of water here so I can dip my spoon down in there and that'll help that'll help with this doing this right here see oh yeah oh yeah all right what you want to do is once you get these formed and put them in here don't crowd them you know make sure they're not touching or anything but cook them uh, probably like five to seven minutes on each side if that I think five minutes may be enough they're not real thick but uh, we're gonna cook them up and I got a bunch to do, so let me get busy. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, this is my first batch. And what I'm going to do is put these on a cookie sheet. And I've got my oven warmed up to about 200, 210, somewhere in there. I'm just going to kind of keep these warm. And before I start my second batch, what I'm going to do is taste one of these. See if the mix needs any kind of salt, pepper, or more allspice, or anything else. So just kind of season them up the way you want to based on this first batch. All right, gang, got my meatballs done, got the cabbage done. Next thing is the potatoes. Now, while I was doing the cabbage, I boiled these potatoes in some you know, just plain salted water. But you're supposed to peel these. And these, they got a little bit mushy. I cooked them just a hair a bit too long because I was concentrating on that cabbage. But uh, anyway, usually you peel them. Got these nice and cooled off now. See, I can hold them with my hands, fine fixing to get these all cooked up. So what you need to do, get your pan, warm it up, and equal parts sugar and uh, butter. So I'm gonna melt the sugar, add the butter here in a second when it gets melted, be right back. All right gang, my sugar's melted. It took uh, about 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes. Turn the flame down really low because it's starting to smoke a little bit. All right, so I'm going to get me some butter. This is a half cup right here. I'm going to start with that, see what that looks like. I know I said half and half, but, you know, just kind of going with the flow, y'all. Anyway, we'll go with that. Let's see what that looks like. Melt it down. Oh, yeah, babe. All right, let me do that. Be right back, y'all. All right, that looks pretty good to me, y'all. I'm going to go with that. All right, I got my potatoes right here. I'm just gonna toss these potatoes in there. 
and we're going to cook these on kind of like a medium just keep tossing them around and uh, coat them with this caramel it's gonna be some good stuff y'all and uh, I don't know it may take 10 minutes 20 minutes we'll see but I'll let y'all check it out here when we plate everything up all right everybody got my, my meal finished here check it out y'all this is some good looking stuff right there Lordy, lordy. It's a bed of red cabbage with them uh, meatballs on there and some of them caramel potatoes on there. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right, let's give this a try, y'all. What you call this? It's called uh, Frikadella. That's what it's called. It's Danish. Let's give it a shot. There's the Frikadella right there. Meatballs. Or Frikadella. Is a single meatball, I think. That's good, y'all. Let me try one of these potatoes. A little bit of the caramel sauce on there. Mmm. <laughs> a hot. A little bit of salt on it. Other than that. Jamming, y'all. Man, I'm, I've been eating this cabbage all day, y'all. This good stuff. Frickadelli. Frickadelli. Alright. That's good, y'all. Hope y'all give it a try. Um, thanks, Dania, for the suggestion again. And uh, those Danish people, man, they. they they fix stuff out of nothing, basically. I just bought the meat and the potatoes. Ten bucks. I had a meal. Fit for a king, man. This is good stuff. Hope y'all give it a try. I really enjoyed it. I'm fixing to go eat. We'll see y'all next time.